So uh, the Matrix came out today, mm. and I watched it. Maybe I need to get another drink. And it was conservative <laughs> propaganda. I was triggered. I was. I was. Where did you did you go to a theater? No, I just watched it on HBO Max. Oh, oh I got gotcha. you. It was conservative propaganda. What? I was triggered. What? And I was screaming. Were but you? I was at a, I was at an impasse. I'm sorry, I didn't know who to complain to to get it banned. <laughs> <laughs> so um, no. But in all seriousness, I'm only half kidding. I don't want to spoil the movie for people who want to see it. But a, a, a large component of the film, I believe, maybe it was unintentional, but it kind of casts the left as like bad. How? I'd have to spoil the film to explain oh, it. Oh man. Yep. How are we going to review this? It uh, an element of the film ex expresses leftist ideas from the villain's perspective, mm. and in the end, in the end of the film, they outright tell regular people to like take the red pill. What? Like no joke. And a core element of the film is the power of a traditional family. Beautiful. Not kidding. That's insane. Absolutely not kidding. And and did anybody? I'm going to say one one thing. Yeah. That will spoil. That may spoil some of the film. Spoiler alert. So you have been warned. You have been warned. I'm saying it one more time. I am going to say an element of the film, which I believe will spoil a part of the film. I'm not going to give you a plot point. I'm not going to explain what Neo does or why he's doing what he does. But I will just say this. Okay. Now that you've been warned sufficiently. A core element of the film is that there, there, in, order to, in order for humanity to exist, there needs to be a matriarch and a patriarch. There needs oh. to be a man and a woman working together. Wait. I thought men and women were exactly the same, dude. Not in this film. I thought that I actually you could change from being a man into a woman. Isn't that, isn't that what the Matrix was really about? Based Initially. On, ba you really think that that was what it was about originally? Come on. I mean, like the, the guys that made. The character switch in the film yeah. was actually in the film. Right. You know, the character switch was, right. Sure. A trans person. I understand that. But the, the creators, they're trans. Yes. Yes. Uh, and but wasn't it sort of backward mapped onto the Matrix later that the the real intent behind the movie was to like extol trans virtues? I wouldn't know. Uh, so here, here's what they say about that. In the uh, the first word that I think appears in the film is trans. It says trans system operator or something like that. Oh, hmm. Really? Yeah. And then there's um, it says system failure and you go between M and F. The, the film zooms in between MF. Do you think there's continuity from the very first one to this one all out planned? Like, for example, no, Lost. Absolutely. You remember the series Lost? I didn't watch Lost. Oh, yeah, so, fantastic. Here, here, here's you just thing. wonder if they planned it all out from the beginning. The, the estrogen pills in the 90s were red pills. <gasps> really? And so apparently they were saying take the red pill was... Take like, the estrogen pill. Take the estrogen pill. Like, you hear that manosphere? You hear that manosphere? <laughs> Y'all been, been eating estrogen, eat pills estrogen pills this entire oh, time. Oh, my goodness. Holy cow. I knew there was something up with That's those guys. Hilarious. So this is from uh, a year ago. This is from <laughs> the August. red pill died. Oh, <laughs> it says, look, 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 look. The man. Newsweek. The Matrix creator explains what the red pill really is, and men's rights activists aren't going to be happy. Aww. And they, they go on and explain. There's, there's a picture of it, I think, somewhere. Okay, there's not. They're talking about in the uh, uh, in the nineties, the, the 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 pill they would take to transition was a red pill. Let me see if I can find a that is image of absolutely it. hilarious. That's really funny. Sweet justice. Yeah, the uh, <laughs> Primarin. Oh yeah, Primarin. Oh, is that yeah gosh. estrogen? It's red pills. Yeah. Imagine if you built your whole brand about brown being red pilled, and it turns out that it actually meant eating estrogen. Wow. No yeah. wonder you're a B. Now I don't know, if, like, so, so some of these things can just be coincidences, Interesting. and they and, and they did they they you know they oh, back attached it or whatever. That's hilarious. But uh, that's what they say. I'll tell you this: um, the zo is the zoom in between the M and the F thing? Is that is that real? It's real. Yeah, man, that that's says, that's it says just system, continuity. System failure, and there's an M at the end of system and an F, and you and it zooms in past them. And the first word in the film it says trans system operator That's or something like funny. that that couldn't I, I honestly when i saw that i was like what does that mean trans system operator like what is it i think it's trans system operator i'm not entirely sure but I, we watched it again like a couple weeks ago we watched all three matrix movies because like the new movies coming out we were watch good. it they're good the first one's real good the character switch in the first matrix you know the character switch yeah is what was supposed to be a person who goes in the matrix and their residual self-image was female and then in the real world they were male or something and according to the story, the studio thought it was too, you know, weird for regular people. They wouldn't, they wouldn't like it. Uh, I actually think that's a that's a good idea for a film. Like, if if the idea of the Matrix is you have an identity 
And when you go in, you become that identity. The only issue is I think people should turn into giraffes too. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right. Like furries would turn into Bugs Bunny and stuff like that. <laughs> but but that's an interesting concept for a matrix because we're going to see that with the metaverse. But I, I'll say this. Well, you've already seen it in Fortnite. There's, there's, oh, yeah. there's little boys acting as with, with female characters. And nobody actually well, even... Well, every game though. I know, but nobody, like nobody even blinks an eye of that. So right. why in exactly. the metaverse would it be any different? Why, why would you blink an eye? Here's the thing about the Matrix Resurrections. I don't think it has anything to do with the Matrix at all. Mm. Like the themes of the original Matrix do not translate into this movie. I'm like, it's an entirely different movie. They just call it Matrix, I guess. Oh, I see. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, uh, I'll say a few things. The film is, uh, hates itself. Not exaggerating. Mm. They self-reference themselves how much they hate, hate making this. What the heck? No, no joke. Like in the movie, they basically say, this is garbage. We don't want to do it. We don't want to make this. Were they contractually obligated? Um, I'm going to I'm gonna go further into spoilers now for some of you guys. So now I'll get into some direct, uh, a direct spoiler. Uh, it's not a plot point. It's just, uh, uh, it, it's part of the early part. Of, it's, it's part of the early movie. I think the first half an hour of the movie was intended to insult and deride Warner Brothers and then the movie starts. Gotcha. So uh, I'll explain. In the film, spoiler warning again, because I really, really want to, because I'm going to actually give a hard spoiler. Uh, Neo is a game developer. He made a game called The Matrix. And he's sitting down with his business partner, and his business partner goes, our parent company, Warner Brothers, has insisted we do a sequel. Oh my. None of us want to do it, but they said, if we don't do it, they'll do it without us. Oh, man. So they were basically looking into the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Saying it outright. <laughs> and so the, the, in the movie, it's that they made a video game called The Matrix. <clears throat> the Warner Brothers wants a new Matrix game, and they don't want to make it, but they have no choice because either they do it or it gets remade like trash. So they said, fine, we'll be involved. And that's the stu- – I'm watching the movie. I'm like, this is so dumb. The first half an hour is literally them being like, they made us do it. We don't like it. Don't be mad at us. That's it's kind of seinfeld <laughs> There is literally a scripted line that says, our parent company, Warner Brothers, expects a sequel. That's literally in the film. Gotcha. And then there's it's in the trailer, actually. Not that part, but it's where the guy goes, to be going back to what all began, back to the Matrix. You've seen that in the trailer? Yeah. That's when he's like, they're making us redo this and we don't want to. But the film, uh, I got to say, like, the left will probably never admit it. But I don't know how else you explain it. That the movie is literally, now that we're in spoiler mode, it's literally, uh, uh, they're like, Neo and Trinity as a man and a woman, and the yearning they have for each other is what stabilizes the Matrix. And without them as the patriarch and the matriarch, the new Matrix will collapse. Mm. That's the plot. So get out there and get married, guys. Yeah. That's, yeah. The, that's yeah, the answer. Yep. And guess what happens at the end? Because I'm going to give you the big spoiler Oh, now. boy. Here we go. Oh, boy. Neo, so Neo <laughs> isn't just the one. Trinity also is. The oh. one is the two of them together. It's like yin and yang. The, so in the original film, Neo is the, 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 the patriarch who fights and saves everybody. And, and Trinity is just the damsel in distress. In this one, they both have superpowers. I, I, I was shocked by this. The villain at the end says to them, we, w- we will never give up because people don't want to be free. They don't want the truth. They don't want to be empowered. They want to embrace their feelings over facts. And then Neo and Trinity are like, we're going to change this world. We're not here to negotiate. And I was just like, what? Like, it, it doesn't sound like leftists. It sounds like they're conservatives. Right. Uh, fostering uh, human connection, the difference between men and women, the fact that they need to come together. They make fun of binary over and over and over again. Like, really? But, so, then, but, but like, hmm. it, it's, 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 it's weird because they don't, they, they, they make fun of like the leftist concept of it. I, I it's, it's, it's. Like they acknowledge it. It's a real thing. I'm going to have to watch. Here's what I think. I showed my kids this movie. They did not understand the first one. Mm -hmm. But hold on, hold on. Here's what I think. Lena Wachowski, trans woman, made this film. Yeah. But older trans woman. Younger younger trans people are the gender non-binary people. Oh, you mean like Camille Paglia style trans? Yeah. Right? Like she's a trans woman. She's trans. but she's a lesbian. 
No, she said specifically, I am trans. Camille Paglia. Yes. You sure? Oh, fat. 100%. 100%. But she's the that. most based philosopher of all time. Love yeah. her to death. She's great. Yeah. She's yeah, trans so, and So you look at like, like um, contrapoints, I think, talk, I think talked about this before, that older trans people believe men and women are the binary and that that's why they're trans. They that's want why to they transition. But younger trans people say it's there's a million identities. You can be whatever from whatever part of the spectrum. I wonder if that's really, you know, like Lena Wachowski is like, an, an old school trans. Yeah, who's like, there is a binary and, and, and they acknowledge that and that's important to them. And stuff trans like that. exclusive radical trans. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> trans exclusionary it. radical trans women. I love it. Thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast. If you want to watch live, you can check out this channel Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. And if you want more unfiltered and uncensored content with all of these guests, go to TimCast.com and become a member. All of these guests you know and love in exclusive segments on our website where we are unrestricted in what we talk about, so you'll definitely not want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time.